I'm here to talk about some recipes from my new book one that are, even if I say so myself, knockout delicious. I'll try that just once more again, yeah. maybe slightly less sarcastically. Yeah. Hi, it's me, Anna. I'm here to cook a recipe for you from my new book one. One is all about knitting together, cooking more sustainably and making quick, easy, life-friendly, delicious food. Um, and today we're gonna make my favorite recipe from the book. You're not supposed to have a favorite recipe from a book. It's like having a favorite child, but this is my favorite recipe. Um, and we're making the tamarind glazed sweet potato dal bake. It is a recipe with a very long title, but <laughs> also a lot of delicious things going on. Um, so let's get started. I love dal. I'm pretty sure you love dal. Everyone loves dal. Um, I make a lot of dal at home and usually I just, you know, make it in a pot, serve it with a bit of yogurt, coriander. This is a different dal. We're gonna bake this dal. So it's sort of in that territory of like, you know, halfway between a spicy, you know, dauphinoise, potatoes, a shepherd's pie and a delicious dal. Sounds weird, tastes delicious. First thing I've done is soak my lentils. You don't have to soak your lentils. If you remember, you can soak them overnight, you can soak them for an hour, you can soak them for half an hour. Um, but the key thing is, is that you wash them. You wanna wash them until the water they're in, you know, stops looking kind of milky. That's basically just getting rid of the dust on the lentils. It'll make them taste better. Next, we're gonna get on with our dal. I'm adding a bit of coconut oil. I use coconut oil here because this is kind of a loosely Indian flavored dish and the coconut works really well with those flavors. Also, it's got a high smoking point, so it's a really good thing when you're frying spices on a high heat. I've got my onion, garlic, ginger, all prepped here because no one wants to see me chopping an onion. Um, and these are just all going into the pan. That's just one onion. We're just gonna cook that down for 10 minutes. We cook that for a while before we add the ginger and garlic so that those don't burn, so that the onion has time to get kind of soft, sweet, delicious without the garlic burning and going kind of that funny acrid flavor. So a good ginger trick is to peel your ginger with a spoon. That way you waste a lot less. So that's been cooking for like 10 minutes on a medium low heat. This is exactly how you want it. Soft, sweet, not too colored. So now we're going to add the garlic. That's just about two cloves roughly chopped and the ginger. It's just a nice kind of big thumb of ginger. If you know what I mean by a thumb of ginger, just like a chunk, maybe like that big. I'm gonna turn the heat up a little bit. We're gonna cook that for two to three minutes just so that garlic and ginger starts to release its oils and you know, you lose that garlic sort of rawness. Dal is one of the things that I always think is quite good to double or triple when you're making it. Um, I'm cooking for you guys today, so I'm just making one amount, but you know, if I was at home, I might double or triple the ingredients and then, you know, freeze the rest for, you know, future meals, which, I always feel quite smug about. So next, the spices. You know, if you don't have all of these spices at home, don't worry. We're trying to kind of hit four different areas of spice here. Um, floral and aromatic from some cardamom, kind of earthy from the cumin, the, the kind of bright sunniness of turmeric and a little bit of dried chili. If you don't have one of these, it's not gonna be a disaster if you leave it out. Um, but I think these are a really nice blend that give a sort of rounded, you know, story when it comes to the spices. So I've got the seeds from about eight cardamom pods in here. You just wanna split them and then take the little husks off and just leave the seeds inside in here to be bashed up. So, you don't need to be super precise here. This doesn't need to be like a very, very fine powder. You just want to break the spices up really so that 
you know, they release their oils and you haven't got, you know, crunchy bits of cardamom. Next, cumin, just about a teaspoon of that. Those are going in and I'm just going to toast them for 30 seconds to a minute. I can really smell this now. Um, the cardamom, the cumin, the kind of, you know, they're, they're sort of opposite flavors. The cardamom is kind of lemony and fresh. The cumin is kind of earthy and grounding. And, you know, it's beginning to smell like a dal. It's a smell pretty great. Uh, <laughs> so next we're going in with a bit of chili, just dried chili flakes. This is really personal. Like I like sort of a little bit of spice, not crazy hot. If you were making this for kids, you could leave the chili out. If you love spice, you know, put 100 grams in, don't put 100 grams in. And then the last spice, which is gonna give this dal its kind of characteristic sunny color is ground turmeric. I'm just gonna add a teaspoon of that. And you literally just wanna give that turmeric you know, 20 to 30 seconds just to release the oils to kind of take the rawness away from the spice. So onions, spices, ginger, garlic, all in here. So we're gonna add the 250 grams of soaked lentils and then a tin of tomatoes. Those are chopped, but if you had whole tomatoes, just mash them a bit with the edge of your spoon. A tin of coconut milk. Ooh. It's real life, guys. A tin of coconut milk. And don't worry if the coconut water and milk separates, that's actually what it's supposed to do. Um, that's actually a sign that it's good coconut milk and it hasn't got loads of strange stabilizers in it. So we've got the lentils, tomatoes, coconut milk in there. Next thing is 700 mils of veg stock. You can use just some hot water and a veg stock cube here. I'm not gonna judge you. So I'm adding a bit of black pepper here is a great thing to use if you're cooking with turmeric because supposedly um, black pepper is supposed to allow you to absorb the nutrients from turmeric better. So I'm going to turn the heat up to high and we just want to simmer this for not long, about five minutes and we're just going to simmer that until kind of all of the flavours have come together. Next is the top of the dal. Um, sweet potatoes we're gonna use here. You could use other root veg, parsnips, potatoes, celeriac if you wanna go wild. Um, but I like the flavor of the sweet potatoes and the lentils. I think it's kind of a nice balance. Um, and I like how these go really sticky and sweet with the tamarind. Um, so I'm just gonna chop the ends off. If you don't feel confident about, you know, slicing them lengthways like this, which is a bit harder. It's no, it's no problem. Cut them like this. All we're gonna do is kind of lay them on top of the dal. So however you get there is absolutely fine. Um, it's, you really just want to kind of create like a, a sweet potato lid to the dal, which is going to, you know, hold all the moisture in um, and keep the dal really delicious, but also, you know, crisp up on the top. So that's been cooking for about 10 minutes. All the flavors have come together. It's slightly thickened. I'm going to turn that off the heat and we're going to pop our sweet potatoes on. You don't have to be super precise here. You just, in the end, want to have a sort of rough covering. So I haven't peeled the sweet potatoes. That's because it's easier not to, and I'm all about saving time and doing less jobs in the kitchen, but also lots of the nutrients are right under the skin. So, you know, if you can get away without peeling vegetables, then you're reducing waste and you're kind of upping the nutrients. Next, we're gonna kind of add the magic bit here, which is the tamarind. Um, you know, we've got lots of flavors built up here already. We've got that creaminess from the coconut milk. We've got the acidity that's coming from the 
tinned tomatoes and we're going to add some more acidity with lime at the end. We've got sweetness coming from the onions, the sweet potatoes, kind of the lentils in a way. They've kind of got their own natural sweetness. Um, uh, so what we need now is some kind of, you know, something a bit unexpected. And I'm going to use tamarind for that. Um, it's something that's used, you know, all across India, in Thai cooking. It's got an amazing sort of sweet, sour character. It's got both of those kind of going on in equal amounts, which I think makes it really, really kind of exciting to eat. We're going to brush this on top of the sweet potatoes. Um, so we really want it to be thin enough that it can be brushed. So that will kind of depend on the tamarind paste that you have at home. There's very few times I use a pastry brush, but this is one of those times. I'm just gonna try and cover the entire top, all the sweet potatoes, and it's going to, they're just gonna sort of caramelize and crisp up in this really, really wonderful way. And you can be quite generous here, because um, even though it's quite sour, it's, as it cooks, it's gonna kind of mellow and sweeten. Um, and that kind of sweet, sour, almost umami, that kind of indescribable flavor note um, that, that tamarind has is going to just be just a really kind of unexpected topping to this. So this is done. It's taken me sort of 10 or 15 minutes to put this together. And now it just goes into a hot oven at 180 to 200 for 30 to 40 minutes. So this is looking great. The last thing I'm going to add is a little bit of lime juice. You could squeeze the zest over as well if you wanted to. The zest is kind of, I don't need to tell you this, but got a kind of more zingy, sort of almost sherbety flavor than the juice. I'm just gonna use the juice because I kind of want that, that sharp hit that lime juice brings. If you wanted to, you could pop some coriander over the top. I think it's beautiful as it is in this kind of, you know, beautiful tonal sort of orange situation. Um, I'll give it a try. Try and get a bit of everything. Sweet potato, dal. It's boiling hot, so I'll try not to burn my mouth. Yeah, that's got everything going on. It's got, you know, that warmth, that spice from the dal. It's got those delicious sweet potatoes that have got that kind of sweet and sour thing and they're double textured because they're soft on the bottom and crispy on the top. You know, that little hit of lime juice just sharpens it up and finishes it off. Um, yeah, I'd be very happy to eat this for dinner for a few days. How many times have you made it? Uh... Um, like a hundred. <laughs>